Hey guys, welcome to the new yoga series. This is Journey to Handstands. Um, right now, I am not able to do a handstand or even a headstand um, freestanding. I can do them <laughs> against the wall with much assistance. So this series is going to be all about continuing to build upper body and core strength as well as opening up the shoulders and the hips too because the hips actually are involved in um, shoulder mobility and strength. You need everything to be open and strong and working together. It's not just, you know, oh, my hands are really strong, my arms are really strong. No, you gotta get everything involved. So we're gonna work on that for several weeks. And yeah, let's get to it. Let's see um, how it goes. <laughs> we're gonna start with, we're not gonna do um, the handstand today because like I said, I can't do it. <laughs> if you can, please go ahead, um, but we're just going to work on some easier arm balances to start and we're just going to try to increase the challenge and move up a little bit each week. So, alright, let's see how it goes. <laughs> alright, so we're going to start with five sun salutations to warm up. Start with timers. Oh, so, arms up, arch your back if you want to. Hands in front of your feet, look at your knees, flat back, down, plank, chaturanga, tuck your feet, roll forward, upward dog, tuck your toes, hips up, downward dog. Tuck your feet to your hands, straighten the legs, look at your knees, and reverse. Four more. Arms up, arch, hands in front of your feet, look at your knees, flat back, down, plank, chaturanga, tuck your feet, roll forward, upward dog, tuck your toes, hips up, down dog. Tuck your feet, your hands, straighten the legs, look at your knees. push-ups. So you can actually come onto your toes, lift the heels up, and push-ups. Ten of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 
tent and bring the heels down, stay in downward dog, and we're going to do leg lifts. Ten on each side. So, right leg up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other side, left leg now, one, Should be really feeling that. Alright, so now jump your feet to your hands, straighten the legs, look at your knees, and come out, reverse. Okay. You should feel you should feel it in your your wrists and your shoulders. That's good. <laughs> Those are things that we want to strengthen. That we want to work on here. Now we're going to do wide legged forward bend. So stand with your feet wide and you can get the shoulders involved if you want to. So clasp the hands behind your back, palms touching. If you can't, just get them as close together as you can. That's fine. It's really not the end of the world, <laughs> but just at least have them together. Fingers. Interlocked, interlaced. And really keep your knees straight. Just no bend here. You want to really work on folding yourself in half. Don't let the knees give. Really have everything straight and strong here. Really tensing the quads. Get a really nice stretch in the hamstrings here. So bend over and add the arms. And let them roll, let the shoulders roll open as you get deeper in this stretch. It's a two for one. You can stretch out the hips and the hamstrings, legs, and the shoulders. And as you're comfortable, you can actually let the palms separate and you can get an even deeper stretch in the shoulders. Let your hands fall, let the shoulders roll open, rolling down your back, and let your hands go as close to the ground as they are able, as they want to, keep folding, stretch if you want and just work on deepening in the bend in the, in the legs the stretch Holding.
lift out first and then slowly walk your legs together. Roll up. And now we're going to do crow. So this is probably what is considered the easiest of the arm balances. Um, it's the first one I was ever able to do many years ago before I could even really do anything in yoga. Um, the only thing that I, my cat's meowing at me from the other room, the only thing that I struggle with is keeping my knees in my armpit. My knees tend to want to flare out and they hang out on the side of my tricep. So, you know, if that happens to you too, that's okay. I still feel strong and stable here, but, you know, work on it. If you're better at it than me, teach me your ways. <laughs> my legs are slippery. So, alright. So you want to have your hands in front of you, palms on the ground, and you want to bend the knees into the armpits, and then you slowly bend um, bend the arms, and you want to have your your shins resting on your triceps, the back of the arm here. So that's the whole goal, and you just come up. And if you can't, you can just balance balance on one foot and the other. Just kind of start to feel how it feels to distribute the weight. Don't be afraid to come forward here. Just really firmly grip through your fingers and your hands, your palms. You'll hold yourself. Just pull in to your belly and lift yourself up and pull the feet up into your butt and just float. You really want to just float into it. Alright? And you don't have to hold it forever, and you can come in and out of it. And do it again. Sometimes your placement won't be that comfortable, so just play with it. You know, you can try it a few times. struggling today. Once more. Try to get one more. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now get down. We do extended puppy pose. So get your hips over your knees. forward. Stretch shoulders. Oh. Just make sure that your knees and hips are in line. Get a nice shoulder stretch here. I'm going to need it because the next one's hard. So relax now while we have the chance. Next one's a doozy. <laughs> for me, anyway. Maybe not for you. <sighs> Just really try to press the, sh the armpits into the ground. They probably won't get there, but focus there. Get a good shoulder stretch. And out. And up on your knees. 
dolphin. <laughs> dolphin to one-legged dolphin. This one's tough, but it's good. It feels really good. So you're going to get on your forearms, and you're going to stack shoulder, shoulders over the elbows in the line, and then you're going to, it's like downward dog went on your elbows, but you want your feet much closer to you than that. You want to walk your feet in much, much closer, as close as you can, really keeping the shoulders and elbows in line. You really want to just work the shoulders strongly here. And then we're going to lift leg up, lift it up as high as you can, maintaining the form. Don't slide back, slide out of it. Keep strong and firm in the shoulders, in the, uh, in the forearms and the shoulder stretching um, to build strength there. And yeah, <laughs> enough talking. <laughs> Stop delaying it. Ow. All right, so. Forearms, shoulders, over the elbows, and come up, walk your feet as close as you can. And leg up, and strength, keep strong. Come back for a second. Other side. Oh, oh my elbow moved. <laughs> back to dolphin. And Whenever I practice this <laughs> before we do it in the workout, it always looks so much better than when I actually do it. We'll see if that happened again. <sighs> you get the gist of it. Do the best you can. Now we're going to get up and do twisted chair. <sighs> Just to get a little twisting in because some of the arm balances we'll be doing have some twisting. So you want to get the body starting to get comfortable with what that feels like. So feet together, sit back, and hands at prayer, and you're going to twist into the side like this against your knee, have them, have them centered at your chest. I like to go down to the ground, go to the ground if you can, and look up. Elbow twisting in against the knee, pressing against the knee to twist up. Oh, language. <laughs> and back to center, other side. If you can't reach the ground, just keep your palms twisting against your elbow. Twist your palms together, elbow pressed against the knee, twisting uh, your chest. That's fine. And back to center. Arms up and straight. If you feel that burn. Okay. Now we're going to sit. Stretches, heron. So lift leg out straight. <sighs> Grab the right wrist with the left with the left hand underneath the right ankle. Pull it in. Leg straight. And just stretch here. We're already like halfway. Other 
other side. So right leg out straight now in front of you. Grab the left wrist, the right hand underneath the left ankle. Up. Stretch. Another couple stretches and then more challenging arm balances. You're going to see me struggle. <laughs> That's okay. You have to, you got to get honest with where you are in your journey. We're all learning. We're all practicing. I'm learning with you. We're going to do this together and get stronger together. <sighs> One more deep breath. <sighs> okay. Now, frog. So, on your knees, spread your knees as wide apart as possible. <sighs> Keeping your knees and ankles in line. And your feet. Yeah, knees and ankles in line so your feet point out to the sides like a frog and have your hips in line with your knees. You don't want to be pressed too far forward, too far back, just everything in line. And you should look kind of like a frog. Like you frog looks. <laughs> so just work on getting the knees as far apart as you can, down to the ground. Line up legs and the hips and come down. here. Just one more stretch after this and I'm going to do two arm balances and then just mostly some more stretching after that and that's it. This might be a little bit shorter of a routine. It depends how long the arm balances take. Those are pretty tough for me. But it's a good, it's a good challenge. It's good to challenge yourself. It's important to work on your weaknesses. That's how you get stronger. Oh, if it's too much to lay like this, you can come on the forearms or on your hands. Just keep working on getting the knees further and further apart if you can. <clears throat> A little longer. <sighs> My hips are almost totally touching the ground. Probably like two inches, maybe an inch in some places. I don't even think it's two inches. Inch, inch and a half. <sighs> Great for me. <laughs> I'm just. I, I work on this. I work on this a lot. This is a really good stretch. Sorry if you hate it. Women especially hold lots and lots and lots of tension here. So this feels pretty, this can feel pretty nasty, feel pretty rough. Things could get ugly, but it's important to release that tension. All right, all right, we can come out now. Come forward. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now come up to seated. Oh. And oh. left leg out straight, right leg up into baby cradle. Let's see what cradle. Oh, cradle the leg, foot flexed, and you can get some movement to really stretch here. You can just hold it. I like to get a little bit more motion and mobility. All right, other 
side. Right leg out straight, left leg up. I'm nervous about these arm balances. <laughs> It's not about showing off or being perfect. It, it's about working, working hard, challenging yourself. That's all. That's all it's about. It's definitely not about being perfect. You gotta check your ego at the door. You gotta leave ego out of this. It has no place in yoga. No place. All right, this feels pretty good. Oh. So, I'm gonna do shoulder pressing. I'm going to fold up my mat because I just cannot do it on the mat. It makes it so much harder for me by the mat. So, oh, you know, the whole point here is to get your hips, your thighs up as high as you can onto your shoulders or at least your triceps, your upper arms here. Get them up as high as possible. So, you want to walk your hand underneath um, your foot, like underneath your leg, really see, it's easy to do it on the one side, but now you gotta work to keep your hips up, you have it on the other side too, and you want to spread out your fingers, get the hips up, the thighs up high as you can on the arms and walk the feet together cross them hold okay That wasn't perfect, but it went a lot better than I thought it would. So, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to try to do any better. That felt good and strong. You feel it in your wrists a little bit, so you can stretch them if you want to. And now I'm going to move on to eight angle pose. So you can sit down for this one. It's much harder for me on one side than the other. I probably won't even be able to do it on the other side. So let's start on the side that I can do it. So you want again, it's the same thing, except everything's going on one leg this time. So it's you're again balancing and pressing into the shoulders, pressing into the arms to lift up. But just on the one side this time. So you want to again get it up as high as you can. Cross the ankle over. And hands down, they're gonna be wider this time. And down onto we'll your chest. Legs down to the side. And you're just gonna again the palms down, press firmly. The fingers all spread apart, and you just press firmly, press into your arm, and press up through the upper body, press through your hands, and press into your shoulder, and get the strength to just lift, come off the ground. I don't know if my placement is good, I'm going to try. <laughs> laying like this and working on my adjusting my position that's all right for me if that's okay for you feel free to do that <sighs> the first time I tried this out and for the first few times after I was not able to lift myself up so just work on how this feels getting there getting closer you will be able to lift up after attempting it. 
a few times, so don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of not being able to do it. I couldn't either. I hope I can do it now. Oh, brief. <laughs> Briefly. All right, again, checking my ego at the door. We got up. I don't want to push it and overdo it. We got up. We work on length over time. And I already practiced a little bit earlier in prep for this. <laughs> so, other side. So again, oh, I'm gonna get. Oh, don't mind all the cracking if you hear all of my, my cracking. I'm all right. Oh, just very cracky in my joints. In some of my joints. All right. Down. I don't know if I'm off camera right now. Oh, oh. Earlier I was. Okay, I think that's good. Get the position right. Okay. It's the same thing. Again, you want your hands to be wider. <sighs> oh, that's as good as it's going to get on this side. I can't always lift up on this side. All right. But we tried, got the same amount of stretching in on both sides and twisting through the abdomen. So, let me get back on my mat. And we're gonna do side split. Stretch. You don't have to get into a side split if you can't. Just gonna get into a straddle. Just get your legs as wide apart as possible. That's all we're doing here. Doesn't matter how far. You can get in this. Just get as far as is comfortable for you, or as you're as far as you're able. And just twist and stretch each side. And forward. Other side. And you can just keep going back and forth, and you can open the legs wider and wider. If you can, if you're able, if that feels good, if you feel like, oh my god, my legs are going to pop out of the sockets, I can't go any further, then you're good. Don't do it. Don't worry about it. as you can go. Come forward. Oh. You can get a little side stretch in if you want. Okay, now we're going to do hollow body, hold, I want my timer because I want to do this for, I want us to hold this for 30 seconds. So, get 
hold it for 30 seconds. So come up and hold. Lifting up the shoulders and the legs. <sighs> Breathe. It's just a good core engaging move. Just core strengthener. <sighs> Keep the shoulders up. Don't come out. Here, abs. That was all. That was the hardest part. I promise. Now we're gonna do plow. So, feet rolling back, legs rolling back over the head. Arms on the shoulders if you want. Four corps. Almost done. So, black spinal twists. Right knee into the chest. Over to the left. Right arm out to the right. Twist. You can let go of your knee if you feel like you can keep the knee down. You can keep your hand on the knee if you need to press it in the ground. If you need it for that help. Work on keeping the knee down and getting the shoulder down, the right shoulder. Straight, left knee in, over to the right. Oh. Left arm out to the left, and you can let go of the knee if you're comfortable. And twist, look left. Work on keeping the knee down, and twisting, and getting the left shoulder down. One more deep breath. Alright. And supported corpse. Ugh. Or just corpse. So just lay on your back. And relax everything. If you have yoga blocks. One under your upper middle back. And one for your head. So good. <laughs> We're gonna be done in under 40 minutes. I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute. You can hang out here for three to five minutes or longer if you like. Just really relax. Take in the practice. Center and breathe.
held it for longer than a minute. I got very relaxed. Okay, we're done. <laughs> it's just under 40 minutes. Oh, how did that feel for you guys? Were you able to do the arm balances? Whether you were or not, um, work on some of those um, every day or at least a few days um, over the next week leading up to the next um, journey to handstands, which will be up next week. We're going to keep moving forward in this journey and hopefully getting closer and closer to being able to do headstands and handstands and more um, challenging arm balances. So let me know how you're doing, where you stand right now, if you're able to already do headstands and handstands and um, more difficult um, arm balances. I can't find any words to say. Uh, just let me know. Just leave me a comment and let me know where you're at and what you want to see and how you like this. If this felt good, I think I'm going to be sore tomorrow. <laughs> I, I felt the burn. Hope you felt it too. So let me know. Leave me a comment. Like, like subscribe, and share. And visit jickadyjack.com for more yoga and workouts and fitness, nutrition, health, recipes, or there's more coming soon. And if you're on Patreon, become a patron for as little as a dollar a month to receive so many awesome rewards. Um, I'm adding more all the time. Let me know what you want to see, what you would like to receive for becoming a patron, whatever you would like that would entice you to become a patron, I can make that happen. So let me know. And all right. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs>